Welcome to Q&A Thursday. I am your coach, Tandar Tanaholi. Today's topic is how to overcome the fear of failure. Let's begin. I tend to talk myself out of things I really want to do by telling myself stories as, there's no time, my work is not as good, I'm not skilled enough, I might fail, how can I change all that? Thank you for writing in. That's quite the valid question. We all have fears. One thing we want to make sure of is that your fear does not take over you and you control it. It doesn't mean your fear will disappear. It's going to be there, but at least you have control over it. And that's what I'm going to help you with today. So let's get to the tips. Number one, baby steps. Once you set up a big goal, you have a lot of things to do till you get there. That's the sweet part of the journey. But what you have to do so you won't overwhelm yourself, you have to cut the action steps into smaller ones and turn them into baby steps. For example, I myself have a fear of failure. I know it's hard to believe, but I do. And as I wanted to set up a seminar for the new year for you, I was going through a lot of procrastination and thoughts and thinking, hmm, Maybe I'll do it in February. Maybe I'll do it later. But because I'm very well aware of what my fear is, I knew I have to take the steps towards it. So I cut them down into pieces. What do I got to do? Find a venue first. Once you do, call them up, ask for rates. And when you're good, book it, which did happen. So that's what you need to do. Cut down your steps into baby steps. And that gets us to number two love your imperfections we're not perfect you have to face it you're not a perfect human being and why would you want to be perfect anyways perfection only leads you to guilt shame disappointment doubt and all these beautiful feelings that you're going to experience might as well embrace your imperfections and accept yourself as who you are and whatever you might do along the way you might do it well or you might have to ask for help but at least you're not heading for perfection. And that gets us to number three. Ask for help. I've mentioned this in previous videos, that you need to ask for help, open up your vulnerabilities, and that's how you would feel connected to others. That's how others would come rushing to help you, and that's actually what you do for others. So make sure you ask for help. This is not a road to be traveled by yourself. It makes it actually that much sweeter knowing you didn't get there by yourself and all alone. There's always good to share those feelings. So stay connected and ask for help. And that gets us to the last point, number four. Dare yourself. I have a quote on my phone screen that is from Chris Carr and it says, can't is a dare. Tony Robbins also says, if you think you can't, then you must. These type of quotes, you have to have it around your house, have it on your phone, have it on your mirror, because it's the moments where you think you can't and you're going into doubt and bringing yourself any excuse in the world for the reasons why you shouldn't do it. Just looking at these sayings will make you remember that you're almost giving into the fear and it's about to take control of you. Do not let it take control of you. Control it by just looking at these quotes. I promise you, they're helpful. And if these quotes don't resonate with you, find your own. With that being said, we're at the end of our session today. And I hope these tips have been helpful to you. And for the rest of you, don't forget to sign up for the newsletter at tandartanavoldi.com. We have amazing news coming up soon, and I don't want you to miss it. I can't wait to see you all next week. Until then, keep happy and healthy.